It's time to choose the right side again. You see, he was my friend. But he's also my enemy's friend. And now my friend's got a new enemy, and he's my enemy's enemy. So on the grounds that my enemy's enemy is my old friend's enemy, my old friend's enemy is now my friend, and my old friend is now my enemy. Nothing personal. It's just politics and marriage. This balancing thing works perfectly well when the king does, but as we said, Richard didn't really work. And it could have gone very pear-shaped in the levels in 1399, because they were known as great friends of Richard. And... In 1399, Richard is overthrown by his cousin, Henry Bolingbroke, who becomes Henry IV, the House of Lancaster, as we call it. And Westmoreland, as Ralph Neville is now known, um, was seen as a friend of Richard's. But Westmoreland, we mentioned before, was pretty canny. And I think he'd seen the writing on the wall. So all of a sudden, when Henry IV comes rocking into town... Westmoreland is absolute best buddies with Henry IV, and they get on so well and so swimmingly, he even gets to marry the king's half-sister, Joan Beaufort, in what is his second marriage. Now, in part, I think Westmoreland changed sides because the Percys weren't supporting Henry, and the Percys actually would lead a couple of rebellions against him, which only weakened them further. So I think, once again, my old pal Neville is showing a bit of political fleet of footness, despite the fact they're meant to be, really, Yorkists. All's fair in love and politics, eh?